Okay, so hey there everyone, and welcome to another tutorial on how to install mods once again. I have got a overwhelming amount of people asking me to do a tutorial on how to install the Mo Creatures mod. And uh, I haven't seen too many tutorials on how to do it, I know there are many, but um, I'm going to try to explain this quickly and easily in a way that everyone can understand uh, to the best of my ability. So, okay guys, let's get started. First of all, you are going to have to have these four things, GUI API, Minecraft Forge, Doctor's Ark Smoke Creatures mod, and the Custom Mob Spawner. All of the links to those are downloadable on the Mo Creatures topic, but one thing you need to make sure of, you need to make sure that you have the right version. See this says GUI API 1.4.6, because that's the version I'm using. And by the way, I will tell you if this uh, tutorial is outdated. If I do not say it's outdated, then it's not outdated. Don't even ask me, it's okay, you can use it. Um, so once you make sure you've got all the right versions of these and read the notes next to them, Dr. Zark will tell you if you need a certain version of Forge or something along those lines. Once you're sure you've got all the good versions and you've got them from the official sites, then here's what you need to do. First of all, we've got Minecraft here but it doesn't have any mods installed, so it's a clean version. Um, this process will probably be the same if you do have mods installed, although there are some mods that clash. So if this doesn't work, you will probably try to target one of your mods. It's probably making this not work. Okay, let's start off here. Uh, this is a Windows tutorial, and it, I don't know how to do Mac, so uh, this probably won't work for Mac. I'm going to hit Windows E here, and it's going to bring up my search menu. I'm going to go to the username, and then see here it says app data. You go to app data, then you type in, well, you don't have to type it in, you can click it, roaming, then we go to the Minecraft. So we see here that uh, we have all these folders here, and they look kind of <laughs> uh, complicated. But anyway, what we want to do first, you'll see this mods folder. Now this mods folder, I'm going to empty everything in it because we want an unmodded Minecraft to start out. Now, uh, you won't normally have this mods folder. It won't be created right away. What you have to do first to get this, I only have it because I've done this before. But if you want that mods folder, here's what you're going to have to do. First of all, you're going to have to have a program called 7-Zip. And I'll try to get the download link to that in the description. I'll try to find a, a good place to download this. So, you're going to open up 7-Zip, and I have it follow that same path to get you to the Minecraft, and then, oh, you have to go to into the bin file. Then you're going to open up the Minecraft jar. So this is what the Minecraft jar looks like. Okay, first of all, uh, both GUI API and Minecraft Forge are a little different than Dr. Zark's Mo Creatures and Custom Mob Spawner, because these two go inside the jar, while these two go inside the mods folder. So first of all, what you're going to want to do is take Minecraft Forge, Oh, first of all, you want to t see this thing called MetaInf? Delete that right away. That stops you from putting mods into this. Now, once you've got that deleted, that's a very important step. You open up Minecraft Forge, and I got a program called WinRare to have this open up. And you'll notice there's a MetaInf in here too, but don't worry, that's a uh, harmless MetaInf. Now see all these files? This is what my makes Minecraft able to download mods. So what you're going to do is highlight all these except for the top little one there if you're using um, WinRare, that's just something to get you back. Now you're going to take all these, drag and drop them into the jar. So that's going to put all of these files into our Minecraft jar and confirm that so you put them in and then they will all be moved right into our Minecraft jar. So that's good. Now we do the same thing with GUI API. And this is going to be a little bit of a smaller file I think. Yes, a couple less files. Anyway, this is going to help so other mods don't clash, I think. But it's also needed for more creatures. So once you put all that in there, then uh, select yes, and you will have a jar that's ready to be modded with more creatures. Now what you're going to do is start up Minecraft. After you've get, got these two installed, you want to log in, and it'll show that little box there. That's normal, don't worry about that. Then it'll show the Mojang symbol, or Mojang, however you want to say it. And it'll say four mods loaded, four mods active. So that's good. That means we, and you'll see this mods button over here. That's good. That means we've done everything right. 
So now we go back once again and go to, we open up our search menu and go here. Now, you'll go back to your Minecraft folder, and notice there's a mods folder now. If you didn't have one before, starting up the Minecraft with Minecraft Forge should have created that. If it doesn't, you can you can easily create your own. Just say, new folder, and name it mods, just like this one, no capitalization or anything. So once you have this, then you take Doctor's Ark Smoke Creatures, and custom mob spawner, you can leave them in the zip files, and just drag and drop them into your mods folder. So now we've got everything ready, those are in the mods folder, they should be being read right now, I guess. So I'm going to log in, and we'll see how this works. I'll size up my Minecraft window, and, um, <clears throat> sorry about that. It takes a little longer to load when you got mods in here too, so if it takes longer to load, don't worry about that. It says we got six mods, so that's good. Now I'm going to create a new world, I'm going to put it on creative. And we are going to wait for it to load to see if mo creatures will actually work. And if there are little creatures walking around your world, then you have definitely successfully installed this mod. So let's wait for it to build the terrain. And, yep, here we are. And so far, it'll take them a little while to spawn, by the way. If you don't see them immediately, don't. Yep, here are some dolphins, right down here. So, c congratulations, guys. If you have... If you see these dolphins and you see these creatures around getting a little bit of lag here but you have successfully installed the mo creatures mod so congratulations now we'll kind of exit off minecraft and a couple things i want to say before i leave um remember to delete the meta inf that's a very important step and i've had people having problems because of that and remember to get all the right versions of these files gui pi and minecraft forge and everything right make sure your minecraft is on the same version too and if you have done everything and followed these steps perfectly and you're still having trouble, then um, post what other mods you have installed. And maybe that will be the reason. Try taking those mods out of the folder and see if any of them clash. And once you get more creatures working again, you could try adding them back in slowly to see which one makes it crash. So um, that is basically the way to install mo creatures. Thank you for watching. If this doesn't work, please leave a comment and I'll see if I can help you. But uh, I've had so many of those comments lately that I just had to make a video on it. So thank you guys for watching. Post anything you need down in the comments. And I will see you guys next time with another Let's Play or tutorial or whatnot. So thank you guys for watching. See you then. Bye.